Now, here's meteorologist Pete Mangione with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. A nice summer-like day out there. We'll talk about that in just a second. First, here's some new information coming in over the past hour on Tropical Storm Nate. Still has winds of 40 miles an hour, so no big changes. Moving to the northwest at 9 miles an hour. Now, the thing with this storm is there's still a lot of uncertainty with the forecast. You can see it's over the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico by around uh, Friday night. And then... Often we tell you to focus on the cone of uncertainty as possibly where the center of the storm could go, but I'm going to tell you the uncertainty range is a lot farther than that, than that, basically all the way to Texas, all the way into the Florida panhandle. So still a lot of changes with this track could occur here over the next few days, but you can see the official forecast does have it as a hurricane somewhere here in the Gulf Coast. Right now it's too towards New Orleans, but again, likely some shifting in this track over the next few days. For our interest here in New England, you could see by around Monday night, likely some of this moisture will get sucked into a front. So potentially some heavy rain due to the leftovers from Nate, not the storm itself, but the leftovers into next week, potentially affecting things late on Columbus Day, although even that part of the future cast is pretty iffy. So we urge you to stay tuned for any updates on that. Right now we're looking at 79 degrees in Providence, 76 in Smithfield, 77 Taunton, a little cooler from westerly to Newport, courtesy of those winds out of the southwest right now at around 10 in westerly and six in Newport. Pretty humid out there as well. Many dew points right now in the 60s, so you can kind of feel the stickiness in the air. That trend continues today, drops a little bit tomorrow as we get on the more comfortable side of that front, but then that front returns. And along with that, the humidity also returns. So back up to some muggy levels for both Saturday and Sunday. So yes, we still talk about humidity sometimes here in Southern New England, even though it is October. Beautiful afternoon here in Newport, humid, but nice in Warwick with mostly sunny skies with our temperature at 79 in Cumberland. Recent wind here at around 15 miles an hour. Tiverton also showing temperatures in the upper 70s. So here is that pesky front right here on our doorstep. It gradually shifts to our south tonight through tomorrow morning and essentially little pulses of energy will ride along that front like a railroad track. It's just we're not going to see too many cars along the track. That's why the showers are fairly infrequent tonight, especially late. Could be a few showers or downpours. Maybe you're driving home from a friend's house to uh, watch the Pats game tonight. You may encounter some of these showers or downpours and then tomorrow morning a few scattered showers possible, but the general idea is that you don't see a whole lot of frequency with these showers. So most of today, tonight and tomorrow, it is actually not raining. Temperatures today into the low to mid 70s with those winds out of the southwest, mid 70s for westerly and Narragansett. Northern Rhode Island temperatures easily into the low 80s today. 81 situate, 80 Burville, 80 and Foster with mostly sunny skies. We'll get some increasing clouds this afternoon. Again, a slight chance of a shower late, but I don't think that will prevent places like Seekonk and Attleboro making it to the low 80s. So fairly mild tonight, temperatures down into the mid 60s by around 11 p.m. And in the seven day future cast, 77 tomorrow, slight chance of a shower Saturday should be rain free. We may start with a lot of clouds in the morning and then gradually recovering to mostly sunny skies by late morning into the early afternoon. And then on Sunday, if we get a shower, it should be very isolated. And then we will see a slight chance of a shower on Sunday night to Monday. Again, it's Monday evening and a Tuesday where the best chance of some heavier and steadier rain will be. But again, stay tuned for any timing adjustments that are made on that part of the forecast. But all in all, Danielle, not a bad looking Columbus Day weekend. Sunday, I think looking pretty good for the parade on Federal Hill. All right, Pete, thank you. We want to pass along some breaking news that we're working on right now. 